this video, we're going to do a routine that I call rollies. The purpose for doing this is to enable you to be able to find the bite point quicker and more accurately. To do this, what you need to do is stop on a hill, have your clutch down, have the car selected in first gear. Make sure it is definitely safe around before you release the handbrake to allow the car to roll backwards. Then when your passenger, whether it's your driving instructor, family or friend, touches the dashboard, you then need to find the bite point quickly. And the purpose for this is so the car doesn't roll back anymore, but also that you're not putting too much power through the car that it then starts to move forward. So it is very, very fine tuned accuracy with your clutch. Make sure you've got some gas in there because otherwise you will stall very easily. I would advise about 2000 RPM and then move your clutch pedal in accordance to what you see. So if the car is still rolling backwards, your clutch is too low. So bring it up a little bit. If it starts to move forward, it's now too high. So you need to put it down a little bit. And we are literally talking about like millimeter movements to get the car stationary. What you're going to see now is one of my clients attempting to do it for the first time. She is a new client to driving. She's only done four hours prior to this particular exercise. And then you'll see the difference when I do it. And you'll see the main difference is I use a bit more gas. And because I've got more gas in the car, I will be a lot more aggressive really with my clutch to enable me to be more accurate. That petrol allows accuracy. Remember, if you've seen my other videos, the gas is like the blood of the car. If you don't have enough gas or blood, it dies. So we need to make sure that we put that gas in there to keep the engine spinning in order to prevent the stall. So Nicole's very kindly allowed me to use her as my victim on this one. So we're going to do rollies in a manual car. You'll get to see her feet as well. Same rules apply. So as soon as I touch the dashboard, she's gonna have to find the bite point to stop the car from rolling backwards, but not enough power that it allows the car to move forward. You happy with what we've got to do? Yeah. Perfect. So when you're ready, start the car for me. Into first gear. Car's gonna roll back. Wait until I tap the dashboard and then you're going to do the gas and then the clutch, ready? Good, nice control. Good. Very good. So, clutch all the way down, we'll let the car roll back. So now this time it's going to go a little bit faster. Do it again. This time I just want you to use a little bit more petrol. Okay. Okay, so clutch all the way down. motionless, secure, handbrake on, clutch all the way down into neutral. For a first attempt at doing that, really good. You can see it is quite a challenge, it's not particularly yeah. that easy. Would you say that was easier when you use the petrol or without the petrol? So the first two or the last two? Probably the first two. Okay, yeah. interesting. So what made you feel that that was easier with the without the petrol being used as much? Clutch. Yeah. yeah, and that's probably because you're not multitasking, you're yeah. not dividing your attention between the gas and the clutch. When you start to get used to that, the gas being used first won't be as sort of difficult. Mm -hmm. What you'll see when you watch this video back, when you use the gas, the clutch was more responsive, so you had a bit more trust in the quicker movements of the clutch. Okay, so that's how to do rollies. What you're going to now see is me attempting to do that. So you can see the difference. Okay, so exactly the same thing. This time I'm going to be doing it. You're going to touch the dashboard. So as soon as you want me to find that bite point, okay. I want you to tap the dash. See the difference? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So we'll do that again. Yeah. 
gas in, finding that bite point, mm -hmm. and then I'm just easing off the gas so it's not so over ready. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. Yeah. And then if I don't really mind about too much about the rev side of things, mm -hmm. do it once more. So practice that, it will make you much more confident using the gas before finding the bite point. I would suggest don't do it too many times though because it will shred your clutch, okay? Um, you may get a burning smell from the clutch. If you do get that, stop immediately, allow the clutch to cool down and then continue to practice if you want. Hopefully that video has helped.